and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm going to be teaching you how to add a resource pack to a Minecraft server basically where whenever you join a Minecraft server you might be prompted to add a custom resource pack for that server this video is going to show you exactly how to do that it's going to show you every single step of getting the resource pack set up and getting it where whenever someone joins your Minecraft server they will be prompted to get a resource pack themselves so we're going to be going over all of that in this video first and foremost though we do have a smart sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting if you want to start a Minecraft server and allow anyone to join it your friends your family doesn't matter anyone in the world if you want it to be ddos protected if you want it to be absolutely incredible check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex for an incredible 24 hour minecraft server we actually love apex so much that we use them ourselves for our own server play at our breakdowncraft.com so if you're looking for a great minecraft server for you and your friends to love enjoy and just have tons of fun on check out apex the first link down below that's the breakdown.xyz slash apex and guess what you can add a custom resource pack or a resource pack to a apex server as well so the first part of this is actually getting getting your server set up right now apex is what we recommend it's what we use however if you want to host a server locally which is what we're going to be doing in this video you can uh, do this here and this is a tutorial linked in the description down below that shows you how to make a minecraft server it goes through every single step of getting a minecraft server set up and then we of course have our big tutorial up here so go through this tutorial get your server set up or get one with apex and then continue on with this tutorial after you have your server set up we can actually jump over here and we're going to get a resource pack now in the description down below you'll find this and this is our download resource pack link and these are all like 1.15 compatible resource packs now this will work with any resource pack but you need one that is 1.15 compatible in order to make sure you know it's working on the most recent version if you don't have one that is 1.15 compatible make sure people know that you know your server isn't on that version otherwise they'll try to play it on 1.15 anyway i would recommend just using a updated resource pack and keeping your server joinable on the most recent version you can do that via using via version but nevertheless once you're here i'm going to download the uh i don't know let's see let's just download faithful faithful is easy let's scroll down here and find the faithful resource Source pack right there it is go ahead and click on the download button on faithful there that's then going to take us off to our tutorial on installing faithful however in this case all you want to do is go on the download a faithful link that will then take us to the faithful website wow they've recently changed this and to download faithful it's pretty simple click on the download or the faithful button on the left hand side that takes us here where you want to find faithful 1.15 click on read more and then finally we can click the download button right there and when we click on that download will, the faithful download will automatically again in the bottom left there it is is. Now, you might need to keep or save this file, but you probably won't have to. Now, one thing I will say is you do need to make a Dropbox account. We're going to be revisiting this later, but I do want to mention that you do need to make a Dropbox account in order for this to work. I've already logged in and all that, but there is a link for Dropbox in the description down below that actually gets you some free storage if you use that link. Now, if we go ahead and minimize our browser here on our desktop, we do have the faithful download. We also have the Minecraft server already set up. Again, you should go do that if you don't have one set up. It's going to be the same process for an Apex server, except you're going to be downloading it via your FTP manager using their default FTP manager there, but they've got tons of tutorials on how to do that. And then the process is the same. It's going to be adding it to your server properties file, uploading it to Dropbox, all of that. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that this is a zip file that when you double click on it you immediately see the pack details now that's not what we're seeing here so as you can see when we open up this we see faithful 1.15 then we open it up again and we have the pack details which is going to be a uh, specifically assets and pack .mc meta. You're going to always have assets and pack.mc meta in there. And if you open it up and it's a zip file like this, what do you do? Well, double click on it and then take faithful 1.15, right? And drag that to your desktop. It's going to go ahead and move everything right that, right? Move everything to your desktop. Get all that moved over. It's quite a bit. Resource packs are actually relatively big files. So it's going to take a second to move everything over and out of, uh, you know, this sort of setup. And then once everything has been moved out and moved out, over you're going to be able to create a new zip file and this is going to as soon as you double click on it show the things it's supposed to show for a resource pack so this is finishing up now and there we go we have this new faithful folder on our desktop if we double click on that faithful folder we will see in here assets pack mc meta that's what you want to see you can now delete your faithful download or your resource pack download now what you want to do is open up that faithful folder here right see that highlight everything so from the top to bottom just highlight drag your mouse over it and highlight it then right click on it and then you want to send to compressed zipped folder right so compressed zipped folder it's going to go through do all that you can name it whatever you want i'll just name it you know server pack like so and now drag that zip folder to your desktop your server pack zip folder now when you double click on this you should immediately see assets and pack.mc meta if you do guess what you're done you can delete everything except that zip folder that as soon as you open it up again you see pack.mc meta 
Awesome. So now, how do we add this to your server? How do we make it when you join the server, it prompts you to download it? Well, the first thing we need to do is upload it. So we want to go ahead and go back over to Dropbox, right? So back over to here. And again, if you don't have Dropbox set up, go create an account using the link in the description and you'll get some free storage. But nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and on the right hand side, click on upload files. And then you're going to want to go ahead and click on your server pack.zip or whatever your resource pack is called. So double click on that and it's going to go ahead and upload it to Dropbox. And then once it's here, all we want to do is click on this share button. So you hover over the file, click on that share button. It's going to open up this or you want to create a link down here. And then it's creating a link and you can copy that right like so. Now what we want to do is come up here at the top and minimize our browser. Now we want to open up our Minecraft server folder go into the server.properties file. That's then gonna open in Notepad. If it prompts you, go ahead and open it with Notepad. No fancy text editors needed here. And then what you wanna find is where it says resource dash pack equals. So right here it says resource dash pack equals. Go ahead and paste in that Dropbox download that you had. That entire link exactly like so, except at the end where it says equals zero, change that to equals one. By doing that, you're going to make the pack download automatically to their resource pack folder. If you left it at zero, it would open up the link on their computer. Instead, it's going to automatically download that into their resource pack folder, which is what you want. That's what we're looking for here. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and save the server.properties file. Go ahead and start the server up. I'm going to jump into Minecraft as well, and then we'll be able to see that this works. It's that quick and that easy. So we are opening up Minecraft. Our server has started back here, right like so. Boom. You can see that the server is, in fact, started or starting I should say it's generating the spawn area so we're gonna go ahead and let all of this get opened up and then we can join our server and the resource pack will download and honestly it'll download install itself it's pretty cool what it does once everything is working however it is going to take a second to prepare the spawn area it looks like so I'll do a quick jump cut and once it's done we will meet you to show off this new aid get an awesome resource pack so now we have the server as you can see done over here Minecraft is open in the background double click or click on this I have my IP here. If you're on your server list, you can obviously click on it. Go ahead and direct connect, join server, and it's gonna go ahead and run on in, log in as you can see, and it should prompt us for a resource pack once we log in. As you can see, this server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Would you like to download and install it automatically? Yes, I would. It's gonna go ahead, it's going to download it. This may take a second. As you can see, there it goes. It is now downloading it. It's going to reload Minecraft, refresh Minecraft, and boom, there we go. Faithful is installed. Now, I suppose I should have checked, uh, like clicked, uh, got a resource pack that changes Minecraft more, but if you go into options and resource packs, you'll be able to see that this is a world specific resource pack for Java edition, faithful for Java edition. So it is working. It is installed. So yeah, there you go. That is how you can add a server or sorry, a resource pack to your Minecraft server. So pretty awesome stuff there. Pretty quick, pretty easy, and an awesome way to kind of give your server a custom and unique feel if that is what you, you're going for. Now, one of the things that I will mention, players don't have to use this, right? They don't have to use your custom resource pack. They can say no there and they continue to play on the server. So it is a really cool thing to do if you want to give it a custom feel, but it also isn't something that should turn off too many players, which is awesome as well. So there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and come join us on our own Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have an incredible survival faction skyblock community. Factions, we have incredible custom 1.8 factions with so many features from custom enchants to custom factions menus, factions upgrades, everything you would want on a faction server. It is there and it is absolutely incredible. We also have awesome survival servers, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, a medieval survival with a player based economy, and 30 custom quests. On top of all of that, we even have Skyblock, which is just incredible. Fence generators, OP enchantments. Basically, it's an OP skyblock. It is incredible, and you will love it. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and I am out. Peace.